Hey, what's up, royalties? We're back at it again with another reaction video. Uh, this time we're reacting to Jim Carrey was second by Will Smith Oscar moment. Uh, this is just seeing what personal opinion Jim Carrey has with the situation. Um, I'm surprised that he still had a standing ovation after he just almost knocked out Chris Rock on stage. I mean, that's absolutely ridiculous. But let's see what Jim Carrey has to say, man. I gotta know what he's feeling because he's a comedian. And, um, of course, he will see things in Chris Rock's perspective because he understands how that world operates. So let's go ahead and get straight into the video. I was sickened. I was sickened by the standing ovation. Which everybody should. Hollywood is just spineless. En masse. And uh, it just... That's true. It really felt like... That's definitely oh, facts. This is a really clear indication that uh, we're not the cool club anymore. Jim Carrey weighing in on Will Smith's Oscar controversy during a new interview with Gail King for CBS Morning. They asked Chris, do you want to file charges? And Chris apparently said, no, he did not. He doesn't want the hassle. I, I'd have, I'd have uh, for, announced this morning that I was suing Will for $200 million because that video is going to be there forever. It's going to be ubiquitous. That's, Jim Carrey was on his, no, he's right. his new movie, Sonic the Hedgehog. He's right. He could do, it's kind of funny. He's trying to advertise his own movie, Sonic, Sonic the Hedgehog 2. And he got to talk about that Will Smith, you know, incident, right? He's like, why did I came here and do an interview about the new movie I got coming out? Even though there's a new trailer that I uh, wrote to expect another reaction video, it will be reacting to the new Sonic the Hedgehog 2 trailer. So uh, we're going to check that out. But it's kind of it's kind of funny that he can't even talk about what he had to do because Will Smith is making embarrassment, you know, out of all these actors out there and comedians, right? So that's crazy. Ooh, but yeah, but yeah, to go back to um about suing, he could he could sue my eating time because that that Oscars was broadcast in front of millions, so he could pick you know choose the video, what video footage you want to use, take it to the cops, bam, you know. To clear how he felt about Will Smith's actions on Sunday night. You do not have the right to, to walk up on stage and smack somebody in the face because they said words. Since exactly, tonight, bro. the Academy has launched a formal review into Smith's actions on stage, and Will has since issued a statement apologizing to Chris Rock, saying in part, quote, I would like to publicly apologize to you, Chris. I was out of line and I was wrong. I was embarrassed and my actions were not indicative of the man the I public? to be. There is no place this is an Instagram post, post, bro. You need to be live television on Sunday, apologizing, bro. Many stars who also weighed in on Will Smith. For Chris hosted the Oscars, yes. and brilliantly. I mean, I, I just remember it was just kind of like... Doing a job! Was. That's all he was doing. Is doing a, his job. The comic that has been doing it for many, many For decades. over 30 years! And, and well, you know been, this, man. He's been doing this for over 30 years. Why, this, why is this so brand new? You've been roasted before. You do comedy movies. You know who Martin Lawrence is. He's a comedian. He does the same thing, bro. So why is this brand new? This is not new to you. You're not somebody who's special, who's exempt you and your family. Is there special when you guys put your family business online? These indeed are jokes. Do you think as a comedian, though, you should ever worry about needing to be censored? You no. Know, I think anytime. Don't go. You know, if you start censoring comedians, that's that the stupidest thing to possibly do. Just Pete don't go. Chappelle are the goats, and thank you. They're like the youngest, oldest comics in the world. They've been doing it since they you were. You know, kids. if you want, you if you want to censor a comedian, listen to Kevin Hart. Kevin Hart, and he's making the most money as a comedian ever because he doesn't dive into dark humor. He doesn't dive into those type of. Uh, politics or racial affairs he doesn't get into that right which is fair you know go ahead make your money you know he and he understands the consequences that comes with it the backlash you know maybe he doesn't understand that he may get back slapped on stage but he understands like the other ramifications for going the dark humor route this guy is absolutely correct as saying dave chappelle is the goat because he goes there he doesn't care any people try canceling he still can't get over it And I think, you know, the contract you set up with the audience is that these are indeed jokes and we have to embrace our freedom of speech. Exactly. Like John the floor. First of all, do you know like that that in that joke that Chris did, I remember when that movie came out yeah. and that was a way to insult a woman, her sexuality, her her physique. It was a way to call a woman a homosexual, basically. 
you took it mm-hmm. way to the next her, next just, level. Like that, Anytime a woman school, cut their hair right out of nowhere, and the girls be like, clap their hands, like it's like a woman empowerment. But yet, a guy just made a comment just as a joke, nothing too deep, and now it's calling her gay, a lesbian. Come on, like stop, stop it, like, stop it. They would do that to people, you know. Come on. It's kind of messed up. Thank you for watching. If you want more extra, hit yeah, the subscribe just stop. button and the bell. But yeah, you know, Jim Carrey is right on the money with it. Um, everybody else in the video, except for the last lady who was speaking, they get it. Uh, that's completely unacceptable. You can never justify a person can have slapped in the face, ma'am. You just can't. But royalties, uh, let me know in the comment section on this video or the last video I did with the Will Smith versus Chris Rock. Who side are you guys on? I want to know, guys. Um, so make sure you guys uh, leave a comment, uh, drop a like, turn on those notifications, and subscribe. And uh, until next time, catch you guys in the next video. Peace out.